pretty slow to battles here. So now that week 11 of college football has been uh, about to, you know, be on Saturday, or at least some of these big games from Saturday about to commence, I figured I would do my prediction video before it even begins, or at least some of these predictions begin. So let's get into this, shall we? Oh, and before I do that, I want to let you guys know that every time I do prediction videos like these, I would always put major predictions for some major games to predict for for me personally and minor predictions for some of the minor minor games I'm just giving you guys a heads up on that so anyway enough with the updates let's get into predictions shall we here we go starting off with Mississippi State versus number one Alabama Alabama is going to win this game without a single freaking doubt. Although I will say that Alabama barely beats LSU 10 to nothing. And now the Crimson Tide of Alabama hosts the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Mississippi State last week, by the way, upset Texas A&M while they were ranked number four at the time. And unranked Mississippi State upset a top five ranked team in the nation. But yet, despite Mississippi State's last week huge victory from last week against Texas A&M, they're facing the undefeated number one ranked team in the nation. And to be honest with you, I don't think Mississippi State will ever do the same to Alabama, especially because they're facing Alabama at their home turf. It's a very, very tough place to uh, beat Alabama or even face them actually. So I'm going with Alabama to win this game. Number two, Michigan versus Iowa. To tell you the truth, Michigan is going to win this game. I really do believe that Michigan will win this game. I'm not holding back from saying that. I really am sticking to what I'm predicting. And I will tell you why. Iowa doesn't have an, imp an impressive team. None. It's non-existent. Their record is five and four. I'm not trying to be mean to some Iowa fans watching this, but I'm telling I'm just telling you the truth. Despite Iowa having five wins in a row, none of them were that impressive. None of them just weren't that impressive wins Iowa has. Whereas Michigan, they have some impressive wins. One of them was against Wisconsin, which went 14 and 7 a low scoring game. Michigan has much better impressive wins, much much more better wins and impressive wins than Iowa does. They've been almost non-existent on their schedule. They were like nowhere to be found. Nowhere. So with that, I'm rolling with the Wolverines of Michigan to win this game dominantly somewhat. Pittsburgh versus number three, Clemson. I'm not going to give Pittsburgh a chance to give Clemson an upset. I just won't. And here's why. Almost every single game that they either win or lost, they gave up more than 30 points. Most games, I'm not saying all of them, I'm just saying most of the games that they were in, they gave up more than 30 points. Most points they ever gave up was 51 points to Miami. So Pittsburgh is not that good, despite their record of five and four. They're just not that good. Whereas Clemson, you have some impressive wins, like Louisville and Florida State, which I was very disappointed that they beat my Knowles. So Clemson has two impressive wins on their resume. Pittsburgh has none. You might say, but Logan, Clemson has given up. Uh, 30 points t uh, to the to the, some of these teams. Now, why are you uh, being a hypocrite? I'm not. Clemson does, in fact, gave up 30 points at least to some of these teams, like Louisville and Florida State. However, they didn't have as much games where they given up 30 points as, as Pittsburgh does. So I'm not going to give Pittsburgh a chance to win this game, or at least upset Clemson. No, I'm not. So I'm rolling with Clemson to win this game. USC versus number four, Washington. Now, Washington was... 
putting up some big, big numbers on California. 66, I believe? To 26? I forgot the score. But anyway, despite Washington's dominant win last week, I honestly don't believe that this will be a dominant one as well. I honestly don't. Here's why. USC, despite having three losses this season, I think they're a really good three-loss team. I would probably consider USC to be one of the best three-loss teams in college football, at least right now, to this day. You can disagree with me if you want. That's fine with me. I don't care. I'm just basically saying that USC, even though they're 9-3 and three, having three losses, I still think they are very impressive. However, with Washington, they're much, much more impressive. When Washington faces USC, I gotta say that this will be a very close one. I honestly do not think Washington will ever put up mu as much points in this game against the Trojans as they did to teams like California, Stanford, Oregon, who is god-awful this year, and the rest of the Pac-12 teams. But I feel like USC might be the toughest opponent, a toughest Pac-12 team Washington has ever faced this season. Much more tougher than the game against Utah. That's what I felt like is going to happen. But in the end, I think Washington will end up surviving this game. Now that we already got done with my major predictions, for some of these major games, let's get in my minor predictions for some of these minor games. Yeah, I know, there's a, those are a lot of games. A lot of minor games to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you agree with some of my predictions, please click the like button and comment down below to let me know what you think. And if you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Have a great week, Bell Squad, and as always, fight the good fight. Peace.